four of us out at the spot today. Peter and I have got our uh, stand location set up. We're going to be trying to catch them at the funnel up on the north side because they're coming from that north side property. Um, and then these other two are going to try to get them coming out of that west side patch of woods. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll see see where they come out today. And uh, hopefully we at least come out. Uh, one of us comes out with a deer today. Hopefully. On this hunt, I'm joined by Mike and Corey from Reserved Outdoors, and of course, Peter. You probably recognize Mike and Corey from a previous hunt where they took us to their reserve lands to do some conservation spring goose hunting. But today, we're taking them to this piece of public land that Peter and I have been working hard for the past month and even scouting and mapping during the summer months before. We'll be splitting up in groups of two. Peter and I will be taking the north side of the area Mikey and Corey will be headed out to the west side. All right guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is hunt number eight, day number eight out here. If you guys seen the last episode uh, from last week, I put out a uh, update video on our hunt progress out in this spot so far. We have been hunting it ever since early archery season in the uh, beginning of September. Corey and Michael are out here joining us as well but uh, they're using rifle now I know it's not rifle season yet but uh, they are status so they have uh, they have treaty rights right so I mean if I had it I'd probably be using rifle too if I could right now <laughs> Peter's got his blind set up over there already I'm gonna head over and get set up um, I'm just gonna sit up in a natural blind again I'm super determined to get this deer with my bow from the ground that is the goal. But there is four of us out here today. Somebody's gonna be coming out with a deer today. Ready? All right. Let's head on out there. Peter and I have split up now. He's gonna go out that way and uh, sit sort of close to the property edge and see if they can, he can catch him coming out. I'm gonna sit a little bit more into the middle of the funnel that we think they're probably gonna pass through if they do cross through this way. And uh, I'm gonna tuck myself in to more of a bushy area, maybe a small clearing in the front, but more in the bush because I need natural cover. Peter's got his ground blind there. Um, I'm just going to be using a natural blind, so we're going to head over that way now and uh, and get set up. See that hill over there? On the other side of that hill is a watering hole, but that watering hole has since since but dried up ever since we first uh, started hunting here in the beginning of September, so a month and a half ago. All right, we're getting close to this spot now.
Space under this fence that's running down. Nice game trail. Some deer, dookie, going out to the field to graze. Let's check the uh, let's check the barbell. See if there's any deer. There's another right there. In your mouth, see if it's deer. <laughs> tastes like, can't even say the word, baby. You know what it tastes like. So, we just found this scrape. Look up here. It's perfect. Down there, it's all scraped up, right? You can see. Jesus. So get this guys. Guy walks in right from behind me over here. Blaze orange with his muzzle loader. Doesn't spot me. Anyway, he makes his way out that side. And then he sees something across the field. It's Peter and his ground blind. And this freaking guy literally points his firearm in that direction to use his scope to look at what it was that he saw and it's Peter and his ground blind out there literally just had to get up ream the guy out like get yourself a pair of f***ing binos man you can't be you can't, who scopes with a gun right and now he's posted himself somewhere back here like very nearby just heard him let a shot off. Some people, man. I don't know if you guys can see that. He sat himself like 300 yards to the back of me here. course pointing in the direction where the deers are going to be coming from oh well what are you gonna do it's public land right it's the moment of truth moment of truth boys half an hour until sunset so we've got about an hour's left of hunting left Goose hunting. He walked 
And with that, mine and Peter's hunt was pretty much blown. But Mike and Corey still have a chance to come out with something. And as luck would have it, they spot a buck out their way in the middle of a field. Dropping our gear, go take a walk over there. Uh, pretty sure it was a spiker, but fuck it, brown or down. <laughs> hey, let's go. There we go, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Congrats, bro. Let's go, man. My first buck of the year. Actually, my first doe of the or buck of the, my first deer of the year. Man, that's a big body. Okay, did I not say though, if we walk through that thick shit, we're gonna scare something up. There's no way. Oh yeah, absolutely. This little buck we got. Hold on, go again. This is a little buck we have, a little, the uh, little spiker. Nice little property, big body. Gonna feed, feed us for a bit, that's for sure. This little bloody guy, I'm not too sure if you guys can see that or not. But, uh, you know. Gotta give thanks to the creator for all of this, you know us meet and feed our family for you know, a few months yeah I want to give a huge shout out to anonymous outdoors huge shout out to Peter too man Peter found all this land if it wasn't for him there'd be no bug this is a joint effort this is both ideas both brains working we knew if we came out of that thick shit eventually it'd be something man we came out to this clearing and boom sure enough there's a buck standing right there so if you're not subscribed to Anonymous Outdoors, you're missing out. You're missing out. Let's get dressing. Woo! So Mikey got himself a little buck though tonight. Damn right, Sia. The only one. At least, at least something went down today though. That's for sure. A little spiker. Yeah, if it's brown, it's down. But oh, Peter's yeah. like, hey, since you guys got rifle, you guys gotta shoot a buck. I was like, all right, challenge accepted. <laughs> there we went, two should, hours in. I should have put points on. It can't be a spiker, it has to be an actual buck. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> and then some guys come in and decide to go duck hunting right beside where we're hunting. That was some, like, that was just uncalled for, man. Public Public land, man. There was Public no, land. like, that guy, was no he, didn't care, he didn't care. He was no, just he like, was I'm going to go. He was within oh. 100 yards of me. Nico, you're going to love this. We filmed them shooting them, like, they're, I don't know, what was it, 22? Yeah, I think. Honestly, I think they're trying to sabotage you guys because they must be deer hunting on your tube man. Well, let's go get that buck. Let's, let's go, boys. Let's go. It was an exciting day for sure. We're just glad that despite a potentially dangerous situation, that nobody actually got hurt. And we're grateful that at least one of us got a deer down today. But whoever you were that was pointing your gun around using your scope as binoculars, piece of advice, get an actual pair of binos.